Hey you guys, it's Angelica coming at you today. And I'm coming at you, I am sitting on the porch. You guys, I am um, just enjoying this beautiful sunshine. And I wanted to come on here to do this video for you guys. Um, this is the big announcement. Now, I don't know how people are going to take this, but I frankly, I really don't care. Um, it is my life, and these were my decisions and my choices, um, and they affected ultimately me and my family. So, um, I've been battling with discussing this with you guys um, for a long time. And I just felt like it was time to uh, just let you guys in on what was going on, what was happening, um, and stuff like that. Um, so, um, some people may have guessed, some people may have speculation, or some people just may if you're on instagram you probably know already um or if you follow me on facebook you probably know already since the beginning since it all went down and all that but if you guys are not following me on those social networks please follow me if you follow me on instagram follow me at i love to do hair um and if you follow me on facebook it is angelica turner okay that is it so um okay um, as you guys know, I was married. Um, I shared some videos, some wedding vlogs videos here with you. Um, during that process, I shared the engagement video. I share all that with you guys. And, um, and, um, I included you guys in all those special events that were, um, occurring at that time in my life. Um, so... Um, I feel like I should share this one with you as well. So, um, about a year ago, um, we got divorced. Yes, I know, we ended a eight-year almost relationship. Um, it's true what they say. People and things change once you guys get married. Like, everything changes. People, I mean... When you get married, everything is totally different. It's not the same as being engaged because you can still walk away. And it's not the same as being boyfriend and um, girlfriend because you can walk away. Okay? But when you're married, you just cannot pack up and walk away. You are entitled to someone. You guys have papers on each other. So there's processes and things and that you have to go through. Now, I'm not going to get in all into detail as to why we didn't, we got a divorce and all that. Just know things did not work out and uh, we thought it would be best for us that if we went ahead and went our separate ways um, to keep everybody happy, you know, keep ourselves happy. We still are friends. We still contact each other from time to time to see how everyone, you know, how we are doing, how the kids are doing. Uh, we had, me and him have no kids together, so um, we really did not um we really did not have a big deal we didn't have like a big custody battle nothing like that so our divorce was kind of smooth and um kind of easy um it not meaning easy as easy to do or anything like that it was pretty much um it was hard to deal with from on both of our parts um since then we both have moved on we have both found other people um but, you know, the love will always be there because, you know, you were with someone for a long period of time. You just don't stop caring for them or stop loving them um, immediately or anything like that. Um, I still have, have love for him. I am not in love with him. You guys have to know the difference. You can love someone and not be in love with them. You get what I'm saying? I can love all my friends, but I'm not in love with them. You have to know the difference between love and being in love. So my advice to you guys out there that are married, that are trying to get married, engaged, please make sure this is what you guys both want. Uh, make sure your house is in order. Make sure your finances are in order. Make sure you guys are committed to being faithful to each other and committed to each other. Keep people out of your business. You really have to keep people out of your business in a marriage. Again, 
be ready to be committed to one person your for the rest of your life. Yeah, that's be ready to be committed, you guys. It's not a game. You can't play with people's feelings and emotions. When you're married, you're married to that one person. Okay? I bring too much bread to the table to to eat with someone that doesn't bring nothing to the table. Okay? I make enough bread to support me and my two children. And I still maintain my same my home and my vehicles and my many endeavors that I would like to choose to do. I still maintain everything on my own because in the end I was the main sole financial provider. So I didn't lose anything. So people were saying, oh, you left. Da, da, da. No, baby. I'm still moving on and I'm still, I am still on top and I still keep going. Okay, you guys, what one man don't appreciate, I guarantee you another one will. Men do not realize when they have a good woman, they don't know how to treat that woman and they don't know how to be real with that woman. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, I didn't make this video to bash anybody. He was an amazing person. We are still friends. We are still like, we see each other today and be like, hey, how you doing? It's no hard feelings. It's no hard feelings. It's just things did not work out. We, you would think uh, if you were with somebody for six years before you guys got married that you guys would know everything about each other. You would be comfortable with e with each other that you would know that this is it. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to mess up what I have built. The family that I have built. The lifestyle that I have built. I will not mess that up. But everybody's not. Everybody doesn't understand that. Everybody's not focused. And you know it's just a big it, it wasn't a big mess because the kids adapted fine i adapted fine he adapted fine so you get what i'm saying i we're happy we're still moving on you know it's just things happen and there's nothing that can be done about it i feel like we i personally made the best decision i could have made for me and my children um at that time um in my life um there are some things that you I wish that we could have done differently um, I can't admit that um, but it is what it is you guys and um, I'm still striving I'm still here you you would never tell you could never tell that I have that I am divorced even through the videos I did take a little break during that time when I was gone, that is what I was going through. That I did not do videos for those six or seven months. And when I did come back, I did tell you guys that I had some things going on and some life changes that I did have going on that I was not ready to speak openly to you guys about. I had to find the time within myself to let to talk to you guys about it because I don't care about being judged. I don't care what nobody has to say because at the end of the day ain't none of y'all paying nobody paying my bills but me. Ain't nobody taking care of me. If you ain't doing the three L's fucking me, feed me or um finessing me, then you not your opinion does not matter. Okay? That's it. So you guys can say what you want to say, you know, in the comments. I'll reply, all that kind of stuff. But I did want to let you guys know I feel like I shouldn't because when I released the video of Bay talking, I know some people was like, that's not him. And, you know, and then when I mentioned Bay in previous videos or my new boo or whatever, I was like, I thought she was married, blah, 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 blah. So I felt like it was really time to move past that stage that occurred in my life and share it with you guys so you guys can be aware and we can just move forward and we can just still embrace and talk to each other. But I just know it didn't work out. No. So... Everybody has to be ready it, on both parts. And um, the kids still ask about them and stuff like that. And, you know, but, um, you know, everything is everything. We're still moving on. We're still trucking. Um, I don't have anything bad to say. I don't because I've moved on and I'm not um, experiencing any of that, you know, kind of negativity right now as far as. Uh, previous relationships um so um yeah so uh i don't really know what else to say you guys just make sure that you both are ready that you both are committed to each other and that you both keep keep your business to yourself make sure your finances are in order before you get married make sure you have 
you know who's gonna do what who's gonna pay what who's gonna do what and just just keep it real with each other that is all i have to say you guys thanks for watching thanks for tuning in i hope you guys uh, this was the much awaited announcement and i just felt like i needed to go ahead and give it to you guys and um that's it so thanks for watching thanks for tuning in thumbs up this video if you would like to see more videos about personal issues things that are going on um and i'll crank them out so thanks for watching you guys bye